The Super Bowl for many also means betting, but as fans arrive in Vegas, the rules for Super Bowl betting in the Sin City is look, looks different than it does at home. Mackenzie Nelson explains. So the Super Bowl is the biggest event each year when it comes to sports betting. So what better place to bet on the Super Bowl than Las Vegas? But this book of prop bets, there are a lot of things missing from it, and that's because you can't necessarily bet on everything, like things like Taylor Swift's shirt color or how many times she's going to be shown on the TV. And I talked with a Manhattan native, Kelly Stewart, earlier today, and she explains why. A lot of people want to talk about, of course, the Taylor Swift props. They want to talk about the national anthem. They want to talk about the halftime show. Guys, you cannot bet that legally here in the United States, unfortunately. I know a lot of people want that to be available, and I think Honestly, the sports books would love to take your action on it, but gambling regulators have said no. Why? Well, there's a little thing called inside information. There's people watching those rehearsals for the national anthem, those halftime shows. And of course, that camera guy gets to choose how many times he pants to Taylor Swift. So things you could bet on for Super Bowl Sunday would be total yards receiving for a player or how many interceptions someone is going to have. But if you're interested in betting on other things like Taylor Swift and some of those fun things, the Gatorade color that's going to be splashed on the winning coach, Kelly suggests doing those bets with your friends and family.